Good morning, it's seven o'clock, you're watching Sunrise. Our top stories, police questioned two men over the Parsons Green tube attack. Staying on that subject and alongside the size of the divorce bill, there is another topic right at the top of talks, how to deal with the Irish border if we leave the customs union. However it is resolved, could we see the return of cross-border smuggling? David Blevins reports from the Irish border. Now, the Liberal Democrats' conference draws to a close in Bournemouth today. The party's leader, Vince Cable, says it is perfectly plausible that he could be the next Prime Minister. Well, we can talk to Brexit now uh, alongside the size of the divorce bill. Uh, there's another topic right at the top of the Prime Minister's agenda, and that is how to deal with the Irish border if the UK leaves the customs union. Well, however it's resolved, we could see the return of cross-border smuggling. David Blevins reports from the Irish border. Over 100,000 people have signed a petition demanding Uber respect workers' rights or get out of London. It's calling on the company to guarantee safeguards such as minimum wage for their drivers and paid holidays. The petition is going to be handed to the London Assembly at City Hall at 9 o'clock this morning. And ahead of that, uh, let's take a look at today's front pages. We'll start with the I. And now, overnight, the Emmy Awards happened. It delivered big winners, losers and a few surprises. Uh, here to go through it all with me.